Good evening, happy 4th of July weekend. You did pretty good if you had outdoor plans this afternoon. We did see some sunshine this morning. First part of the day, and that also came with a sun halo. If you were looking up in the sky around one or two o'clock this afternoon, this photo by Doug Dixon out there at Charlie Ventner Park in Jeffersonville. And you can see clearly that rainbow uh, around the sun here this afternoon that was indicative of moisture arriving in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Of course, since then, moisture has continued to arrive and now we're overcast. And soon we're gonna be talking about that chance of rain, unfortunately, but still, Pretty pleasant out there right now, 78 degrees. It is dry, thanks in part to the fact that we've got that humidity at about 45%. We've got a little bit of dry air still in place. Eventually, we're gonna ch exchange that over for some rainfall. You can see we are picking up some light returns not too far away from Metro. This is not reaching the ground yet, but this stuff out here to our west is, and we'll watch that moisture as it continues to move in our direction. That chance of some light rain showers increasing here by mid to late evening. We're not talking about a washout or anything like that, but again, a few hit or miss raindrops across the area. Not a big deal here overnight tonight. Temperatures will be mild. We'll fall from the 70s into the upper 60s here by morning tomorrow. A chance of rain again with us tomorrow. Maybe thunderstorms by the end of the day as we head towards tomorrow night. Now, what we're tracking for you is this slow moving storm system making its way through the central plains right now. There's a warm front associated with that. It's gonna lift slowly in our direction. That will increase moisture. Eventually, this lull strengthens, moves to our north, and that could pull up enough moisture, enough instability to set the stage for strong to severe thunderstorms. Starting late tomorrow, as we head on into tomorrow night, the Storm Prediction Center has portions of the Wabash River Valley, including our western counties, and that slight risk of severe weather. It shifts off to the east here as we head on into your 4th of July holiday. We'll have to watch that. Again, not just strong thunderstorms, but the potential will be there for a tremendous amount of rain in some areas. Flash flooding will be possible. We'll have a full update on what to expect. Your full forecast tonight at 10.